What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com. Today we're going to showcase to you the February 2017 Air Jordan release dates. Now I know I'm getting this out a bit late and I do apologize for that. Um, a lot of videos, a lot of editing and uh, already missed a few drops but um, we'll kind of skim over that and there's a lot more to come for this month. So this might be one of two uploads of the day. Um, this is going out pretty early so I'll probably do a recap in my next video but First up, we got the Jordan Sun of Mars, Fire Red. Um, this already released, and it was supposed to come out February 1st, but it could have came out earlier or later. It's just kind of like a, one of those um, placeholder release dates. Next, we got the Jordan Sun of Mars. This is a GS, Hyper Pink, Kids Exclusive, dropped the same day, retail for, it retailed for 130 so next we got the Air Jordan 1, Retro High, OG, Perforated, a part of the Yin Yang Pack yin yang pack i should say um these dropped on february 4th along with the white pair and retail was 160 so i did a video on the black pair and um i wasn't able to get my hands on the white pair unfortunately the quality was pretty nice i will admit that and just wasn't a fan of the white outsole on the black pair and i didn't get to see the white pair in hand but i'm sure the quality was about the same so next we have the air jordan 4 royalty already released on february 4th and retail was 190 now a lot of people thought these were going to sell out and uh, you know I didn't think they were and they're still sitting and uh, the quality in my opinion wasn't great and a lot of people disagreed with that but um seemed like a lot of people also saw them and then changed their mind but um, they are still available if you are interested in them, in them next we have the Air Jordan 5 take flight now these look pretty dope but it priced at 400 Jeez, that's pretty steep, to be 100% honest. Um, you know, I'm sure the quality is immaculate. Like, there's their clean look is just 400 is steep, at least for me. But if you guys are feeling them, um, this will be a limited release. Like, select retailers will get them. I'm not sure if I'll have my hands on them. So next up, we have the Air Jordan 1 Retro High BHM celebrating Black History Month. Now, this pair is actually pretty cool to me. Um, it has like the swoosh and the wings branding. And I believe the, the branding on the tongues is removable and you can interchange it with a few different options. And I think it's pretty cool. Um, I think I'm going to be able to check those out today. So I should have a video up soon, um, but I'll know more later on. And oh, those February 11th retailing for 150. And then next we have the GS version. I believe this is they do have removable patches, but it's just on the tongue. I, I like the metallic gold. The white outsole kind of. Eh, I'm not a fan of that, but it is what it is. Drop it on the same day for 140. Oops, if I didn't mention the the adult version is 150. Next up, we have the Jordan Trenner LX, a part of the BHM collection. Um, dropped early 2000s, and I think it's pretty dope. Like, the colorway and the model itself, I always liked it, but it'll probably, you know, be slapped on and sit in stores, and that's cool. It'll give people who are fans of this model a chance to get them. So, they're dropping February 11th for 140 Next, now this pair is pretty cool. I like this pair, but um, it's a GS exclusive. Exclusive. Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG, Valentine's Day, dropping February 11th, 2017 for 120 It does have Nike Air on the tongue, and I believe it has, like, the uh, For the Love of the Game um, emblem on the heel. We got another GS exclusive. This time, it's the Jordan Trunner LX, known as Vault. And these are dropping February 11th, 2017 for a retail price of 120 Alright, so now we're getting into the bulk of the stuff. This is like what people are looking forward to. Maybe not this particular model, but the overall All-Star releases. So first up, we have the Air Jordan 31 All-Star. Retail is 200 dropping February 16th. They're going with the God of Shine um, nickname, but originally they were being called like Chameleon or just simply All-Star. I'm just going to call them All-Star from here. So next up, we have the Air Jordan 6 All-Star. Retail is 225 dropping February 17th. I think these are actually going to sell out. A lot of people are looking forward to them. Um, to my understanding, though, they do not, you know, when you rub the sides or anything like that, they won't expose something like the Wings 12s. But um, still a pretty dope shoe. But 225 is a bit steep. Um, doesn't have Nike Air branding, of course. It's But uh, it seems like there's a lot of hype for this shoe. So it might do really well. It might be 
shocked um, that they sell out. The only reason I say that is because it's possible with the high price they'll sit, but we'll see. And then we got a few Eris releases. We got the Air Jordan 6 GS. It looks like they're using a long hair suede on this. Um, kind of interesting look. Hopefully I get to see these in person. Retail is 160 I think these are going to sit, to be honest, along with the Air Jordan 1. Um, same color theme and everything. Black, long hair suede. Uh, retail is 140 I just think these two are going to sit. There's too many nice releases coming. And this pair, the Air Jordan 13 Chicago. Now, this pair could sit. It could sell out. I'm not really sure. It's a dope shoe. But it's just a lot of stuff is releasing, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be mass produced like crazy. Uh, retail is 190, dropping February 18th. Um, I'm going to get them regardless. Next, although this hasn't been confirmed by Jordan Brand, I got to add this in the Air Jordan 12 OVO in black. Expected to drop February 18th, 2017. Retail price is 225. Now this could be pushed forward back. Nothing has been stated by Jordan Brand at the time of shooting this video, but um, sneakerfiles.com will update you, of course, with that info. Next, just got my hands on these. You guys might have saw the video. If not, I'll put a link in the description below. The Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG All-Star. Now, these are dropping February 19th for a retail price of $175. The, price, or the quality is decent. It's not like the best, but it's not bad by any means. Um, it's probably a, a little bit above average, which is good. Craftsmanship is overall, I would say, pretty solid. But um, in my opinion, these are going to sell out. They're not going to sit, and uh, there's a lot of hype for this pair. Next up, we have the Air Jordan 8 Alternate. I think this pair is pretty cool. Um, retail is 190 and they're dropping on February 25th. I don't think these are going to sell out, um, although they're pretty dope. It's just it looks like there's a lot of white on the outsole, and that kills it for a lot of people. Um, but the overall look, I think, is pretty clean. Last but not least, the Air Jordan 12 Low Playoffs. I can't do 12 lows. You guys already know this, but um, this is probably the best colorway of the 12 lows that I've seen. And that's obviously due, because it's due to the fact that it's an OG colorway. Just in a low top form um i think these will do better than the max orange or whatever that jordan 12 that released i forgot the nickname i think it was max orange we're calling it uh, i think these will do better than that but at the same time they're not going to sell out i think a lot of us rather have the mid or the high top whatever you want to call it just your traditional playoff 12s release all right, everybody, so that wraps up your February 2017 Air Jordan release dates for now. As you guys already know, dates could be pushed forward, back, or even added in new drops. So in that case, link in the description below pointing to this page where I will constantly update, keep you guys in the loop. Now, there will also be a link to our Air Jordan release dates page, which has dates from now till pretty much through summer, not all the way through, but, you know, a good amount of them. Now, as far as releases go, I already have the Air Jordan 1 All-Star, so that's locked in for me. Definitely something I like, um, and I got a bit early. And uh, Jordan 12 OVOs, I'm going to try, but we all know how that goes. I'll probably strike out. And the 13s, the Chicago, going to pick those up. As long as quality is good, definitely going to go for those. I want to check out the Jordan 6s in person. That will determine if I get them or not. The, what else are we, the BHM 1s in person and i want to check out the alternate eights in person so i'm kind of on the fence of that um i don't know if i'm going to be able to check out the jordan uh, 5 take flight the premium but even if i am i mean there would have to be something really 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 nice about them that i just really like that i have to drop 400 again that's just me but leave a comment below let me know uh which pairs you plan on picking up if you're passing anything like that thanks for watching stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com and if you haven't yet make sure to subscribe Oh, 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 oh,